Okay, Joey here at ESBR Boxing, joined by former world champion Enzo Macronelli. Enzo, it's a, it's a difficult night for you, right? Because you've come in your professional coach with Conor McIntosh. He's put it all on the line tonight, and he's just come up short, literally one point. How, how do you feel? Uh, to be honest, I, I've got it. I've got it for him. Uh, I, I just said to him now, I could criticise him all night, but I could praise him all night as well. He's jumped from a four-rounder into a ten-rounder. Uh, I'm going to be working with him in five weeks and the amount he improved is brilliant. Uh, technically, I don't think he should be this weight. He was a, he was a kilo over super featherweight, waking up without drying out, without having breakfast. Uh, you know, he, he done a lot of things right, he done a lot of things wrong. Uh, he didn't listen to me so much in the corner. But again, you know, a lot of that is to do with the fact that he'd never done 10 rounds before. It's all foreign to him. He done, he, don't get me wrong, he'd done it in the gym. I pushed him hard. On fight night, if you've never done it before, you are learning. But he was up against a tough, tough boy. Uh, it was a good fight. Uh, I thought, you know, I thought Connor, I was trying to tell Connor to put him on the back foot from the second round onwards because Rashid started going square. He lost his form on the back foot. But he, could, he couldn't do it. I think he was subconsciously he was afraid of doing it, something he'd never done before. But we live, we learn. It was my first night as a pro coach. I've done loads of amateur coaching. But I live my learning, and like I said, I could criticise him all night, but I praise him all night as well. You talk about criticisms there, and it's not going to be criticisms, but when the dust settles and you get back into Barney Mine, like, what are the things that immediately spring to mind? Do you know what? We need more in the tank. We need to work on pressing. What's the first thing that comes to mind tonight? A bit, bit of extra strength, yeah? a bit of extra strength, uh, and a bit of belief in himself, because he could have pushed him back, and, you know, when he, when he was going on the back foot, he'd have his chin in the air, so... I try to tell him when you go on the ropes, dip your legs a little bit so he changes on him. Yeah, one listening. So we change it then, put him on the back foot. And whenever he put him on the back foot, he was causing damage. He was throwing shots. And that's what, that's what made him grab and hold and hitting the back of the head by Connor out bullying the bully. But again, he couldn't, I wouldn't say the gas in the tank because he had a lot of gas in the tank. But to do it on fight night with the nerves, first 10 rounder from a four rounder is, is a lot different. And the frustrating thing for me is as a fighter, I know what I'm doing there. No one would have to tell me what I'm doing. I, I'd switch on. I'd just out. Connor locked me for guidance. He didn't listen all the time. He listened sometimes, but he just couldn't keep it up. And again, a lot of it to do is his first time in a 10 rounder. It's all experience. We live, we learn. Do we, do we cry and moan over a loss? No, we get upset, but we learn and we come back stronger. And comparing the two, I'm guessing you're going to tell me it's easier to be in the ring in some ways. Is that the truth? Is it easier to be in the ring? Is it more nervous on the outside? What's the transition between being the guy in there who's throwing the punches and the guy on the outside who can't really control what actually happens? My biggest asset as a boxer, I fear no one. I fear nothing. I never went in with nothing. There was nothing. I was blank. I had tunnel vision. I had one thing on my mind. When I'm in a corner, they, it's up to them, not me. So then I can give my instructions, I can give what I want them to do. The good thing is, I've been coaching amateur boxing for years. Even when I was a world champion, I was cornering boys. My, my boy's fighting now, he's 15 years of age, he's fighting, I got some other kids in the gym. And I get nervous when they fight. And, but, oh, de definitely getting punched in the head is much fucking easier than seeing someone get punched in the head. Just quickly then on your coaching style, I know you're not going to maybe give it all away, but I spent a lot of time in the fight watching you. You're very quiet during the rounds. You obviously shout key instructions and so on, and then you're giving nice, clear instructions and things. Is a lot of that a bit of a trust situation where, look, I know my fighter, he's in the ring, I'm going to let him work it out, and you're just sort of chipping in as when needed? Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was my first time in a fight. I started shouting at him from the corner. He wasn't listening. Uh, and like again, Connor's the type of person that if I start coming down too hard on, he don't re, he don't don't receive their instructions well. Some people are different. It's like my, my boy boxed the other week. It was all on the last round. I give him a gob full in the corner. And he come out. He come out. Didn't box. It was his first fight. He didn't box great. But I give him a gob full in the end of the second round. He come out. Dug in deep. Show me won the fight. With Connor, I couldn't do that. But towards the end, I started to raise my voice a little bit, started getting a talk. Again, it's all new for me. And, you know, it was, it was a lot of times I was shouting at Connor from the outside and he just wasn't listening. But, you know, again, we live, we learn. It was his first 10 rounder. It was my first pro coaching thing. And I sucked straight in a 10 rounder with, with a boy I've only had for five weeks. And he done himself proud. He 
he's done me proud, he's done the club proud, and he'll be back. Last one then, uh, obviously a lot of talk there about Connor, rightly so. Now will talk about yourself. You've proven yourself to be a fantastic analyst and commentator in boxing. People were probably surprised in some ways, no offence to you, but us Welsh blokes, we don't really get a lot of credit for maybe thinking and stuff like that. Done a fantastic job on multiple shows. Now, pro box, um, sorry, pro cornerman, pro coach, Enzo Matronelli, born of mine, ABC open for business to young pros looking for somewhere to base themselves? Yeah, yeah, you know, I've had, I've had the amateur club for years, born of mine, ABC, I got, I got about 40 kids now at the moment, we, we breed killers in my gym, uh, and I generally do, uh, but yeah, you know, if someone wants to come and think, I'm, well, you know, I've done, I've done Connor a favour because I know him, um, and I think I can improve him a lot, and I've improved him in the short space of time he had, but you can't get all the kinks out, but no, give me a call, uh, and I'll certainly have a look at him. There we go, time for business. Thank you for your time. Top man, cheer, man.